Hi, it's Jim from Animal Ability and fitness contributor for Wild Warrior Nutrition. Today's video is going to be the latest revision of the Animal Ability warm up. Uh, with some things my myofascial lady Mandy from uh, Integrated Therapies added to my program. So let's go for it. Okay, as usual, we start with the hinge drill. You want to do 10 of these with one hand up top touching the back of your head between your shoulder blades and your sacrum and then after you do 10 you switch and do 10 more so that you're getting a total of 20 of these drills very important for the neuro pathways Okay, now if you're following along, we're going to go lateral triple extension toe touch. Usually about six each side. You can go up to ten or even more if you feel like you need it. Or make sure you rotate your hip as you extend up. Then we're going to go thoracic side pushing, trying to basically lock your hips and push to the side with your thoracic rotation. And we're going to go Cossack squat, alternating sides. This is gliding Cossack because we're, we're staying low. Note that the heel is down. If you can't, you can hold on to something and lean back so you can keep your heel down. TRX or rings works good for that. Now we're going to go for toe in out or foot in out. This just loosens up the knee and a little bit of the hip there. Switch legs, do 10 total. You can do more if needed. Then we're going to lay supine and do ankle circles, 10 each direction. Trying to smooth out any uh, clicking spots or sticky spots in the ankle mobility. And you'll feel probably that one ankle is less mobile or has different sticky areas than the other ankle. Now we're going to put our feet on the ground and with our knees slightly bent and rotate so our heels are out. These are glute, ham, medius, minimus, Snow angels, thus the hand movement there. I usually just do anywhere from just one to three. Just want to activate the muscles. Okay, now we're going to roll to the side. Knees just slightly bent. This is a new one. Inhale into the upper lungs because you're trying to get thoracic extension as you go over. I'm still working on this because I optimally want to keep my knees all the way down. I don't quite have the full thoracic mobility to do that. And this is the circle over. So you do five one way and then five circle overs. You're going to do this each side as you'll see in a second. Not so much worried about keeping your arm locked as you are extending your shoulder blade up and over while rotating at the thoracic vertebrae. Inhale, exhale. Inhale into the upper lungs, exhale. This is different from the belly breathing that you try to do on other things specifically. This is for the thoracic area. 
So you really want to expand those lungs, expand that rib cage. When you're doing the circle overs, I like to try to keep my fingertips in contact with the floor. Even though my arm is bending, I'm trying to really extend and my shoulder blade keeping my fingertips in contact. Okay, then we go to a quadruped position and we're going to do myofascial extension each vertebrae down, each vertebrae up. This is the flexion part. And then we just drop back into child's pose real quick on each one. Trying to rotate my thoracic up, sternum and shoulder blades and collarbones, and then start from the sacrum and tuck my pubic bone to my towards my belly button. Pitiful arch there, but I'm working on it. Got a pretty decent flexion going on. Would like to see a little more at the lower part of the spine. These are alternating spinal circles. Spine health is very, very important. Now we're going to go to some roller thoracic extension, just extending, opening up, squeezing the shoulder blades together. You can put your hands in the karate chop position, or if that doesn't feel good, you can put them anyway, as long as you're extending your shoulder blades. Just going to do some thoracic rolling here. I usually just do anywhere from one two or even three, switching my arms, making sure everything's lined up. And here we go with thoracic circles over the roller, alternating sides. I usually do about 10 of these total. You can do more. Probably don't want to do much less if you do them. Okay, I'm going to get some single leg hamstring rolling. Roll from back of the knee to glute. I usually do about six each leg. Now you can roll both legs at the same time if it's too much pressure at first. Then I would go ahead and just do a straight 12, 10 to 12, even up to 15 or 20. Okay, now this is a shoulder dislocate. Weight is optional, and so is the inverted BOSU. But when you do all this together, it really activates your nervous system. Really turns things on, gives your shoulders a good feeling. The goal is to keep the elbows locked in both directions. As you can see, I'm bending as I come towards the front a little more than I would like. And then last but not least is the MMA hop. I usually do 20 each direction, so 40 total. 